I have to do this. I just couldn't help myself. Like after hearing about how that uh, submarine used Logitech controller for their uh, submarine, and I heard about some reviews about Logitech. And yes, it's meant for gaming, and I know that like the military uses game controllers, but the difference is that they'll use official controllers and not Logitech. I have, I do, however, have Logitech products. I have keyboard and a mouse. I use to this day. I've had it for like, uh, say, about a over a decade. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's just not meant for subs. Marines that go to the bottom of the sea. It's not meant for that. So anyway, let's see what we got here. Look elsewhere for your submarine needs. Got one of these for my submarine expeditions to the bottom of the ocean and the depths of hell. It worked great for Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'm surprised it didn't work out. Please call the Coast Guard. Thanks. And perfect for piloting a submarine. I purchased this controller to pilot my homemade submarine. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know what would really just be hilarious is if the controller is what they find among the, the debris and it's intact. Like, oh god, can you imagine? It's like, <laughs> well, we found this controller. It's perfectly fine, but we couldn't find anything else. Oh, lol. So anyway... Perfect for controlling my submersal. I love finding economic solutions to my problems, and boy, did I strike the jackpot with... Wait, what's that sound? <laughs> Don't use on submarines. If the 710 can't handle it, neither will the 310. Works okay, little glitches here and there. Like any use over two hours, the controller gets real finicky. <laughs> Great for controlling submarines. Just got to 2,000 feet below sea level. Fixing to check Titanic out. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the controller did not save anybody from implosion. It didn't do them any good. Oh, well. Controller saved my submarine. I was using this controller with my submarine to go do some wreck diving. During our tra runs, it worked fine, but this time I went diving and the joysticks on the controller stuck. Currently writing this from the bottom of the ocean. Hope they find me soon. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it's like misleading, yet practical. Do not use this for steering a submarine. Huge mistake. <laughs> submarine tour. Bought this one in the color gray with the analog stick extensions for a friend who was going on a tour to see the Titanic in a submarine. I didn't know you could Bluetooth it to the steering system, but I did hear it has a lot of drift. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, boy. And then these we got. Oh, boy. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see the recent again. Your submarine. <laughs> it broke during my Titanic tour. Send help! Worked for a while. Was fine controlling my submarine. <laughs> Lost connection though, and we sort of just drifted off course. Probably should have bought something a bit nicer. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like, why well, am I not surprised? <laughs> so, there you go. So, those are some of the troll reviews. <laughs> And nothing surprises me in this day and age.